Hello? Come on back. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and share my screen for tonight. So this is our meeting agenda for tonight. Um, welcome to the Summer Basketball Hi. Coaches Meeting. Um, thank you guys again for volunteering your time and efforts into coaching these kiddos season after season, or if this is your first season with the Y, thank you guys. Um, we cannot do this without you guys. So you guys are a huge part of making this program and this season what it is season after season. So again, thank you. Um, for anybody that doesn't know me, um, I am Paige Savage. I'm the sports director here at the Arlington Mansell YMCA. Um, I also have Tevin Nash, my coordinator, alongside helping me this season. He cannot be here tonight due to some school obligations, but he will be out at practices and games, so you guys will see him very soon. Um, so I will tell him to be sure to say hi to all of you guys out there. Um, volunteer checklist is going to be the number one thing on you, your guys' radar this season um, before we start. This is going to be your background check that is required for all volunteer coaches. This is completed only, so even if you've coached before. You asked me this already, and I told you I was helping out, Gabe. Are you on? Please make sure you guys are muting your mics. Um, so background check is going to be completed through player space. If you have not completed this background check, please make sure that you reach out to Tevin or myself to get the link. Um, this is very important that you guys complete this prior to Thursday, as you guys will need this completed um, before receiving your rosters. So if you have not completed your background check or if it's time for you to renew it, please reach out to Tevin or myself and we will get you that link to renew it. The second thing um, is going to be athlete protection training. This is an annual training that all volunteer coaches need to complete. This will be sent out the Tuesday prior to the first game. Um, so please be on the lookout on your email the first or the second week of practices for that training. The third thing is going to be for all new volunteer coaches. So if you ever coached with the YMCA before, or this is your very first season, um, with the Y, you will have to complete a reference check. This reference check is in friends, family, um, coworkers. It can be anybody that knows you um, and can answer a questionnaire about you uh, working with the Y. So please don't think too hard on it. Um, fill it out with whoever you can think of um, that will respond to the questionnaire. Um, you can also pick the option for it to be texted to them so they can just fill it out on their phone. It takes about maybe four to five minutes to complete. Um, so if you're brand new to the Y and you have not received that as well, please go ahead and email Tevin and myself so we can get that going for you guys. Um, something that we put together and we're adding on season to season is our coach resource page. This coach resource page um, we put together, it's going to be drills, um, practice plans, um, drills that they can do at home as well for your team. Um, we put this together just for maybe brand new coaches or coaches in the past who need some new ideas when it comes to practices. Um, drills or some maybe some fun games that you guys can do towards the end of practice. Um, but I know that all the kids love knockout. So um, maybe something to change it up week to week. So I will go ahead and share that with you guys. So this is what it looks like. This is also attached to that invitation email um, that was emailed out that you guys also got tonight in the reminder email as well. I will also include this in the follow-up email tomorrow. So if you guys are preparing for your first practice, um, go ahead and take a look at this. There's a lot of great um, resources on here. If you find anything that you think would be beneficial to other coaches, um, brand new coaches or seasoned coaches, please let us know and we'd love to add it to the coach resource page as we are always trying to find new and exciting drills to add on to here. The next thing that we're gonna go over is um, the email that was sent out yesterday, um, included the instructions on how to send in your practice request. Those do begin, um, you can start sending those in as early as tomorrow at 7 a.m. Um, please do not send them in before that time. And please make sure that you guys send it in tomorrow so that you guys are getting one of your top three choices um, for practices. 
If you have not received that email and are coaching this season, please email me following this meeting so that we have a chance to look over the practice grid tonight and are able to send in that request um, as early as you can in the morning. Um, in that email, we'll have a link to this blank practice grid shown here. Any of these white um, open spots are available. Please make sure that you're not sending in requests that are on the block. Um, only white, only the white spaces are available for practices. Um, so please look over that email and send in that request following the format. You can send in your top three choices. You can send in your top six choices. Um, either of those will be very helpful in, um, in making the grid. This grid will then be updated tomorrow and be sent out with on Thursday along with your team rosters. So on Thursday, you guys will receive three different things. You'll receive the practice grid um, updated with where, when, where, and what time your practice will be held. You'll also receive an email from player space allowing you access to your team roster, as well as um, the rule book for the season. So if you have any questions regarding the rules, um, your practice time location, um, or your roster, please let me know um, prior to Thursday. So that way we can limit the calls and emails following it being released. Um, with that, I'm going to go ahead and pull up player space. So when you guys log in to your home page on player space, you guys will open up your home your home page on player space once you receive that email that your roster has been added. Um, your home page will look like this. You will have you guys will have a lot less. You guys will only have one team, possibly two if you're coaching multiple teams. Um, so you'll have your home tab, your activity wire. This activity wire is where your parents or yourself can post pictures, videos. Um, you guys can also post quick updates on there, um, messages to the team saying great job. Um, so anything like that can be posted onto the activity wire. This tab right here is gonna be the schedule. So you guys will be able to see the schedule for the entire season of regular play for ages seven and eight and above. And then for the three and four and five and six, you guys will see your schedule for the entire season. Um, this schedule tab will not show anything until July 1st. Um, once that roster or the schedule is released on July 1st, you guys will also get a notification that your game schedule has been added to your team. So, um, Nothing will be added on your player space without you guys getting a notification. So just be on the lookout for those player space notifications on this upcoming Thursday, as well as Saturday, July 1st for your schedule. Um, this tab, you will have your groups, teams, and programs. Um, this is where you're going to see the teams that you have assigned to you. So on here, you guys will not have 50, 50 different teams. You guys will only have one or two. Um, or possibly three, depending on how many teams you're coaching. Um, so your team will be listed here. It'll have your age division, um, whether you're rec and comp, if that is available in your division, as well as your NBA or WNBA team this season um, and your name. So once that is added, you will be able to go to visit And this will be your team's homepage. Um, just like I was saying before this activity wire, you guys can post pictures. Um, this team last team was able to post pictures, um, make comments. Yeah, you guys can post anything you want in the activity wire for the team to see. Um, this homepage bar also has, once we get into tournament play, we'll have the brackets posted on there. Um, schedules is going to be your game schedule for the season, for the regular season, um, for the seven and eight divisions, and then three and four and five and six will have the entire season posted there. 
Um, standings is going to show you where you stand in your division overall. Um, this is also how we're going to determine which teams could possibly um, have different seating when it comes to playoffs as well. This roster is going to have where you have your players, fans, and coaches. And then where you guys want to go as soon as you log in and you have access to your room is going to be this coach's corner. This coach's corner is going to be where you guys are going to be able to send out messaging. Um, so we go to the messaging tab. You guys will enter in the subject. Um, it can be something as simple as reminder, practice tonight. And then you can choose the message type. Um, you have the options of email, player space message. You can do text message and player, player space inbox. And you can do all three as well. I do recommend that if you're doing a text message, please make sure that it's short. Um, the text message just limit your characters. So if you're sending out a brand new first message to the team, welcoming them, telling them about yourself, then you guys will, I recommend doing the email in the player space inbox. On here as well, you guys will be able to see your roster. Um, on here through the coaches corner, you're actually able to enter in their jersey numbers. So once you guys receive those uniforms, um, and know your team's numbers, you can go ahead and fill it in. And if you go ahead and fill that in prior to this first game, whenever we print those score sheets for the games, you guys will have um, the numbers pre-printed on the sheet. So you guys won't have to chase down your players uh, right before the game starts to get their number um, of all 10 of them. So if you guys are able to, I recommend logging in on a computer to do this. You can just enter in their jersey numbers here and then hit update and it will print out each time for each game. Another cool thing on this roster tab is if you have say a player whose parents, one parent signed them up and they are the primary on their player space account, but they also have a parent um, that wants to receive updates, maybe grandma or grandpa takes them to the game as well or practices as well. You can go ahead and go to your roster and then go to add player, fan, or coach. You can enter in their, you just need their first name, last name, and email. And then you can hit fan and then they will receive any messages, any schedule updates that you send out. Um, they'll actually have access to view the schedules, um, view the brackets once those are posted. So if you have any parents that are letting you know that only one of them is receiving player space messages. That is why, um, due to there only being one parent allowed on the account. So if you want to, you can go in, add player, fan, or coach. Um, if you are having trouble figuring out, just have them email us and we can add them as a fan to your team so they can receive those updates as well. So I'm going to go ahead and share our parent email template. Okay. Um, this parent email template was sent to you guys in that initial invitation email, as well as the reminder email. It's a Word document, so you guys are able to edit it. Um, any of the highlighted portions are the parts that you guys want to edit. Um, this is an email template you can send out to your team uh, once you receive your rosters. This just helps you guys um, give the parents as much information as you can um, without having to go find it yourself or remember from past seasons. So you'll just want to enter in your name here, enter in any other coaches, if you have assistants, co-coaches, anything like that. Um, you'll enter in the gender and age. If you're five, six girls, you would enter five, six girls right there. Uh, the number of coaches that you're going to have helping you this season, um, as well as once you know the practice days and times and locations, you can add those in here. Um, you'll insert those in for the first two practices. 
Um, you can also enter in how many players are on the team, how many players will be on the court, which is five, um, just so parents know that there is equal playing time, but due to some of the teams having larger numbers, um, it's not a 50% split all the time. Um, and then just put in your email or phone if you prefer that. Um, you can send this out to them in the email. You can copy and paste this into player space and send it out. Um, anything you guys prefer. I know a lot of teams do use player space for messaging, but a lot of teams also use um, group me. They have a text message string, anything like that. You guys can decide what you guys want to do, and but this is there if you need it as well. So parent notification does need to be sent out by Sunday at 5 p.m. So the timeline will be that you receive your rosters um, by end of day Thursday. Um, and this will be for all coaches who have a clear and submitted background check. Once that's submitted, then you guys will go ahead and have from Thursday up until Sunday evening to make um, communication with your team regarding the upcoming week of practices. Um, so I just wanna introduce yourself let them know when practice is, and tell them how excited you guys are for the season. Okay, um, uniform pickup. Um, all uniforms are gonna be distributed the second week of practices. Um, so we'll have a sports monitor on site who will have those with them and um, we'll be passing them out to you guys the second week of practices. Um, some exciting news we have this season is all of our girl divisions will have WNBA jerseys. They will look just like the NBA um, replica jerseys that we've had in the past. They will just now be WNBA teams like our local team here. The Wings is one, for example. Um, I know Storm is another one. Um, Aces, the Las Vegas Aces is another one. So we're really excited to have those this season um, and have and change it up a little bit for the girls' divisions. So be on the lookout for that um, coming up. Once rosters are released, you guys will be able to see what NBA or WNBA team you have this season. Um, some game day staff. So sports monitors will be on site on Saturdays. Um, first game day will be July 8th. Um, sports monitors will be in sight. They'll either have a red or black YMCA polo on. They will have a YMCA lanyard on. They will be most likely near the scores table. They'll be in the stands as well. Um, they are going to be there to help you guys as well as the officials um, during games, before games, and between games. So please ask them questions if you have any. Um, they are there to help you guys, and they are also there to help the officials and make sure games are running as smooth as possible. So if you guys need anything on game days, please let them know, um, and they will be there to assist you guys as well. The next thing is going to be coach and parent conduct at games. Um, I know we've had some issues in the past possibly, or you may have heard some things, but I do want everybody to know that we do have a sports committee in place. Um, this sports committee is made up of volunteer coaches like yourselves. Um, so they've coached in the program. They've um, interacted with our officials. They know how the program runs. Um, they know where coaching and parent conduct um, through and through. So um, a little bit about our procedures. It's a no tolerance policy for any profanity, any form of physical violence, anything that's going to escalate to that level. Um, so we ask that you guys um, coach these kiddos and make it a fun atmosphere for everybody um, involved. So in basketball, if you guys receive a technical foul, um, the first one will be a warning and you guys will be asked to sit and coach from the bench. Um, second technical foul will be an ejection and result in the sports committee issuing you a one game suspension. Anything past that um, will be up to our sports, sports committee to vote on. Um, so please make sure you guys are having fun at the games. And I know 
basketball is exciting and you guys are excited for the season, but let's make it fun for the kiddos and keep that coaching and parent conduct to a minimum. A um, little about our season for anybody who, who's new to coaching at the Y or just new to participating in the Y in general. Um, we have implemented for our seven and eight and older divisions, um, a tournament style season. So this, this season for the summer will be seven weeks long. Um, first five weeks will be regular pool play. And our last two games will be um, tournament style bracket play. Um, I do wanna let everybody know that in some divisions where we have recreational divisions and competitive divisions, at the end of that five week regular pool play games, um, we do you do have the opportunity to move up into the competitive or move from the competitive down to the recreational. And that is gonna be dependent on your regular season record. Um, so just be mindful of that going into the season that if you're beating teams 50 to two in the recreational division, there is a chance that you might move up to the competitive um, come time for playoffs. And we ultimately, put this in place just to create better matchups, um, make more competitive games when we get to the playoff, um, those playoff brackets and create a competitive environment for all the kiddos. Um, three, four, five, six, and seven and eight, they will receive participation medals um, for our tournament divisions, which is seven, eight and above. You guys will receive um, first or second place medals. Um, as well as a coach's trophy to the number one or to the first place team. Okay, I'm going to now open it up for any questions and that you guys may have regarding the season, um, anything I went over. So go ahead and either, you guys can unmute yourself and ask those questions or you guys can drop them in the chat box as well. I have a question real quick. This is Armin. Hi, um, Armin. How you doing? Good. How are you? Great. One of the, the frustrating things, and, and I understand, I guess there's an issue with finding refs. I think one of the issues we ran into last year is that the inconsistency. And I know at one point we had a good ref for two weeks and we had a new one that we had to explain some of the rules at the beginning of the game. And he got frustrated and said, well, I'm just going to call everything in the middle of the game. And it's like, well, that's not what we're looking for. We're just trying to tell you what the rules are and just be consistent with it. And it was just alarming that he had never ref that age before and didn't know any of the rules. And then he just went to the extreme and called absolutely everything that these were 15, 16-year-old kids. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I understand that. Mm -hmm. um, and that's why this going into this season, we're going to try our best to – either hold a meeting with all officials so that way we're kind of on the same page when it comes to different divisions um the rules in different divisions because like you said calling 15 and 16 year olds is way different than possibly calling seven eight year olds or even five as low as five and six year olds I had a Thank question. Um, so how often are the practices uh, for, for the three and six year old uh, leagues? Okay, so every team is going to be given one practice slot um, a week, and that practice slot is 50 minutes. You guys are more than welcome to practice more than that during the week, um, but we are only providing one practice slot. Any other practice? Um, location or time that you guys want will be up to you guys to uh, define. So does that mean if uh, there's an available practice slot, would that be open for, for coaches to use? Do you mean as a second practice? Yes. Um, it will not be. Oh, so it's just up to us to find our own second practice? Yes. Okay. Right. I have a question. I uh, received the email about the uh, the eleven and I might have missed. I just logged in a little late. About the eleven and twelve basketball team is currently without a head coach. Is that still is that still current? Um, 
your child's name? It's my youngest, my youngest son. Yeah. Um, go ahead and email me and I'll have to look into it. Um, and see if they're still without a coach. Okay. Cause if, if it is, I mean, I can, is it possible I can do both? I mean, I can help out be assistant with one age group and also with the, uh, my oldest son group. Oh yeah. That would be awesome. Okay. <laughs> Um, Armand, I see you dropped a question in the chat box. Um, when it comes to moving your practice slot, um, that's ultimately going to be up to if there is an open one um, at a time that works for you. But due to the amount of teams we have this season, I don't know if there will be one available mid-season to change to, just so you know. Okay. Yeah, and I got that kind of made sense in what the other guy's question was. So yeah, mm -hmm. I, yeah. Thanks for answering, but I'm uh, thank you for that. Yeah, no problem. Do you have a question, Chris? Uh, yes, I do. Um, I signed up to be an assistant coach uh, for both of my daughters' teams. Um, would the head coach be reaching out to me directly to kind of coordinate that, or how does that work? Yes. Yeah, so all communication that's going to be sent out to the parents is going to be from the head coach originally. Um, okay. Once you guys communicate on that, you guys can determine, like, I know I've coached in the past with the, I have a co-coach. And so we kind of split up this season. You're going to take communication. Um, and then the next season I'll take communication. So it's kind of just up to what you guys want to do regarding the team. Okay. All right. So I, yeah, I was just trying to make sure that, um, I, cause I didn't know how it worked. If the head coach would reach out to me or, or once I, my daughters are selected on the team, do I reach out to let them know that I'm available to be an assistant coach if needed or whatnot? Yeah, you can. And we can also, we'll also add you in player space as the assistant coach. So okay. that way you're able to see the team as well and the schedules. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Yeah, no problem. Hey, uh, there's a, what? With my, with my, uh, I have two teams. And with one, we have three coaches. So uh, one of the other coaches is going to put it in. It's okay if he puts in the practice grid for the three of us. I don't know who. I don't know if anybody's there as a, as a head coach. It's just three of us signed up as coaches. Okay, if, uh, the other coaches puts it in. Yeah, Jeffrey. If, Jeffrey, if you'll just have one of the coaches send in for both teams, that would help okay. a lot. Yeah, I'll, I'll send it in for the, the 11 and 12 year old team, but uh, Gabriel Franklin will send it in for the nine and 10 year old team. I just wanted to make sure because uh, I know this is their, this is his first coaching. I just wanted to make sure that it's okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just one person send it in for each team. Okay. And, well, and one more question. I'm looking at the practice grid. And, um, the first two places at uh, the YMCA, it says for a central YMCA team, don't. Is that open to everybody or for certain teams? Um, so that is reserved for central teams only, um, just due to the amount of Mansfield locations that we have available and the limited space we have in central Arlington and North Arlington for those those teams. Oh, okay. All right. So I'll have to look um at what your what your boys signed up for branch wise. Um yeah, yeah, you guys are a central team. Yeah, we're all we're all signed up for competitive. Yeah, and, it'll uh, be based so, on your branch. So it's the Cooper, or it's Mansfield, Cooper, Central, or North. I think they signed up at all different branches. I I, I signed up at the uh, the the branch where you're at on Davis Street. So okay, that yeah, means, Central. I, yeah, that, so that means our team is part of the Central team. Yes, possibly. Okay, all right. I just yeah. wanted to make sure so I know whether we can use them slots or not. Okay, yeah. All right. I have a question. Do, do you know if the teams are full or if there's like full rosters on the teams? Yes, it'll be a full roster. Okay, okay. I was just curious because I, we were at another YMCA last year and they didn't have enough kids to have a full team, so I wanted to make sure. Okay, yeah. Yeah, you'll have a full roster released. Okay. Hey, Paige, I got a question. Paige, the, the tournament, like uh, weekends, uh, specifically for seven and eight-year-olds, what weekends are you, is that 
likely to be? It's going to be August 12th and 19th. So it'll be the last two weekends of the season. Thanks. Hey, Paige, I got a question. Yes. Hey, so on last last season on the 8U boys, they had one ref. And I understand the one ref is, you know, the younger, uh, the younger the kids are. But, you know, sometimes he's so busy making sure that one is playing man or doing something else where on the other end behind them, they're still in the ball or they're doing something different. So I was wondering, is it possible every once in a while they can have two refs or how do that work? Um, so for a seven and eight division, we'll always have one ref on the court. Um, we can look into possibly having two when it comes to playoffs, but that will not be guaranteed. Right. Because right. it is one for seven and eight. Okay, I got you. Hey, this is Armin again. I have one more question. Uh, and, and correct me if I'm wrong about this rule. I know last year, I had 11 players and they all showed up for every game. And by rule, it said every child must have equal playing time. Well, I had an odd number. And mm -hmm. by rule, if my memory serves me correct, you can't substitute at time. But that was kind of like my only option to figure out how to get these kids equal playing time each week. Because I had a parent say, well, my kid's not playing enough. It, it got to be challenging. If that, if I am incorrect about that rule, or if that is the rule, that's still going to be the same case this season. If we're in a situation where we have an odd number of kids, where it's hard to play them equal time throughout the game, or any suggestions on how to do that a little better for us? Yes, and so if you're given above ten players um, this season, which would be eleven, you guys will be able to sub during those timeouts. Um, and that will be communicated to the officials so that way they know as well that you're able to sub just due to you having a larger roster um, to create that equal playing time for each kid. Okay, thank you. Yeah. And I do know in the summer, um, sometimes it's less of an issue just because some weekends you'll have kids on vacation. Um, some kids won't make it some weekends. So sometimes having that 11 does help in the summer season. Hey Paige, um, question. Um, I'm going. I'm going to be on vacation for one of the Saturdays. So, mm -hmm. will the will the Y provide a a coach fill in, or should will we ask a parent to fill in? What what should we do in that instance? Yeah, and so you'll once you guys get to know your teams, um, you'll just want to ask one of the parents on their your team if they can step in for that weekend. Um, prior to that, we can just let us know who's stepping in and we can get them a background check uh, prior to that Saturday. Okay, thank you. Any other questions? All right, well, I'm going to go ahead and end this call um, and end the recording. I will send this out to you guys by tomorrow afternoon um, with a follow up with the recording um, and a little information about the timeline leading up to the start of the season. And then you'll be on the lookout for your rosters on Thursday. Um, and yeah, thank you guys for volunteering your time this summer. I know the summertime can be crazy for you guys. So thank you again for volunteering. And I'm looking forward to a great season of summer basketball. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for the opportunity. Thanks, Paige.